Um, I think the uh, purpose of today, of course, is uh, not just to open uh, this particular health and wellness center, but it also is to um, highlight the inroads that the FNU is making in respect of the learning environment that it is creating, and also the availability of new courses, and uh, you know whether it's degrees or whether it's diplomas or certificates, in various areas that has never been traversed before in Fiji from an academic perspective, from a training perspective. Government, of course, is the sole contributor to FNU in respect of making uh, direct budgetary allocations every year both for its um, uh, capital expenditure and also its operational expenditure. As highlighted earlier on by MC that uh, FNU is in fact a conglomeration of the various institutions that existed prior to FNU, whether it's the agriculture station, uh, agriculture uh, uh, school, whether it was the medical school, uh, the what was called as the Direct Technical Institute or FIT. All of that is now consolidated into Fiji National University. And governments, uh, one of the ideas of government was that to ensure that we provide a learning environment that is not only um, you know, providing another source of academic training or academic uh, uh, you know, excellence, but also in respect of providing training or course material where there has never been course material in that respect, but also enhances or taps into our natural talent that exists. So for example, sports. Uh, we are known as a sporting nation. Our, uh, the Fijian rugby team it does really well internationally. It's won two Olympic gold medals back to back now. Our Drua team the, is doing really well. Government has just recently invested, as announced in the budget last week, is going to invest six million dollars uh, over the next six months. It will become actually a 51% shareholder of the Drua franchise company. But apart from that, the fact that we have this natural talent, we need to be able to have a science-led approach to it. We need to be able to create a learning environment where other countries can recognize not just our raw talent, but a talent that has actually gone through a particular type of training. And also at the same time be able to use Fijians to be able to provide training to other people. And that's critically important. That's the point that we are missing, that we have been missing. This health and wellness center is in fact an indication of our commitment in terms of tapping into that raw talent, in terms of harnessing that, that potential that exists and actually bring it to fruition. Yes, of course, one part of it is to uh, ensure that we tackle NCDs. We are one of the highest rates of diabetes in the world. But apart from that, it's creating that culture of a, of a trained approach to sports. That's really important for us to understand and how to take advantage of that. In the same way, as recently uh, FNU has offered uh, courses now in the BPO sector, business processing outsourcing. Now the BPO sector is the only industry during the past two years that actually grew jobs. We lost over 100,000 jobs, uh, Fijians in particular in the hospitality industry and all the other industries that are actually linked to the hospitality industry, they lost their jobs. Even other industries did as a result of the, uh, the reduction in the size of our GDP, in reduction in government revenue. Notwithstanding all of that, the BPO sector actually grew 3,000 jobs, which is actually very difficult to believe. But in fact, it grew 3,000 jobs in 2020, 2021. And that is as a result of the global approach to outsourcing changing. Australian companies now want to have the outsourcing not done in Philippines or India, as seen as far-flung places that may be prone to more sort of you know pandemic restrictions, etc. They want to bring those operations closer to home, and Fiji, of course, is much closer to home than are those other two countries. So, as a result of that, FNU now is tapping into that potential. In the same way, we Fijians are very well known for you know looking after children and aged care services. We have thousands of you know, Fijian, in particular women, providing aged care services in the west coast of North America, in California. Some legally, a lot of them illegally, providing aged care services, but there's a huge demand for it. Japan has an aging population. Australia has an aging population. So we want to put all the jigsaw pieces together. 
And that is, rather than sending our people there, we want them to come here. We want those retirees to come to Fiji in retirement villages. This is why we have set up the, when we outsource the PPP project in respect of our hospitals, providing more you know, tertiary care facilities, we chose Lotoka and Ba. Because Lotoka is closer to the international airport. Lotoka is, in, of course, in the Western Division, there's a lot more tourism, a lot more tra trained people in the tourism sector. But if, if FNU provides aged care training and aged care services, and I understand APTC is doing that, and that collaboration is, is enhanced, then we'll have more Fijians trained in aged care services, and then we'll be able to attract companies to come and set up retirement villages in Fiji. We already, in the past two years, we have been providing you know, fantastic tax incentives. And now, and now with um, Aspen Medical starting to run uh, Lotoka and Bar Hospitals from about April, May of this year, and providing procedures that currently aren't available in Fiji, will mean it will attract the investors in the, in the, in the retirement village space. So uh, there's a lot of potential. And FNU, we see FNU is playing a very facilitating role in this respect, in terms of employability of our young people, whether it's in sports, and I was really glad to hear from your VC, the types of courses and training that will be actually made available through FNU. It really enhances the potential. And if you already have a population that is so keen in sports, the ability to then enhance that potential into a in, a in a sort of academic manner, yet in a sort of very practical manner, will mean a lot more people will get jobs, a lot more people will be employed. And we can actually make Fiji not just a regional hub, but indeed a global hub. And in that respect, of course, recently there have been discussions between Monash University and FNU, uh, through your chair of your council, to set up a climate change uh, research facility at FNU. That is a very critical matter for us. In climate change, we are the cold face of climate change. We are all vulnerable to it, whether in terms of hard infrastructure, whether in terms of our development goal agendas, it has an enormous impact on us. So to have that learning facility, a research facility, which is going to be international based, get people coming from overseas, academics from overseas, practitioners from overseas, will not only enhance the, 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 the footprint of FNU, regionally and internationally, it will also mean that our people will be able to have access to people who are well known, well trained uh, in this specific area of climate change. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to congratulate uh, FNU, the, the Vice Chancellor, the Council, uh, Dr. William May, and everybody else, the architects, the con uh, construction company, I see Cortec over here. Um, uh, thank you very much for your perseverance. Uh, we were here about 18 months ago, we were kind of looking down at the, at the court and said it was incomplete, we could not get people from Australia. Uh, and I'm glad that you know, they found a solution in that innovation that was done by using local contractors who now, of course, have learnt a new technical skill set which they obviously can replicate uh, you know, throughout Fiji and any other centre that, that needs to be set up. So, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate FNU once again. Of course, uh, you can all be ambassadors and tell all your good friends and family members, etc., to come and use the gym. They do need the revenue. Uh, we want FNU to be standing more on their own feet. Uh, to be able to, you know, I think attract the type of talent, but also there was uh, uh, business opportunities for FNU. Uh, congratulations, and I wish you all a very good day. Thank you.